ABC 10 News at 5 starts now. Southern California's desert communities have a lot of cleaning up to do after getting hit hard by tropical storm Hillary. Take a look at your screen. You're looking at streets covered in mud. This is in Cathedral City in the Palm Springs area. Several cars got stuck. Dozens of units in a mobile home park were flooded. We tracked down the mayor of Cathedral City on Zoom. She told us even though the rain has stopped, it does not mean everything is back to normal. The sun is out. Um, it's deceiving. You think that it's over, um, but there are certain areas that have been really hit hard. So that's what we're facing now. She says roads are reopening and the area should be fully open for tourists in the next few days. Alex Tardy from the National Weather Service made the drive to Cathedral City today. He is joining us live right now. Alex, how are we doing today? Good afternoon. Um, yes, I'm on my way back uh, from uh, seeing all the mud and flooding out there. What, what's, the, what's the damage look like? What, tell us what you've seen so far. So it was difficult to get out there. Uh, the flooding was uh, extensive. And so Interstate 10 was partially closed at some times uh, since last night, it was totally closed. Uh, Highway 111 was partially closed, which goes out there. So by the time I get out there, I could see uh, extensive mud and debris from the Whitewater River, Indian Canyon, uh, Gene Audrey, all those roads in North Palm Springs were completely closed. Uh, and uh, the roads are damaged, they have mud on them. I could not get into Cathedral, which you're showing on your screen. Wow, and I imagine the city was not anticipating this much, this much destruction, but was the rain totals what you all were expecting to hit there? Yeah, that's a, a good question. Uh, so the rain totals were pretty much what we expected. The uh, Palm Desert Cathedral, North Palm Springs had four inches of rain. The headwaters where all the water came down from on top of the local rain, uh, 10 inches of rain, uh, which is what we predicted. But a lot of times you just never know what the impacts are going to be. The Whitewater River won this time uh, and it even crossed sections of Interstate 10 before it made it into Cathedral City. What kind of long term impact will this heavy rain have on that area? Like I said, they could not have in any way anticipated that much destruction. No, and, and the bad thing is it happens at night too. So we're you know, really fortunate uh, that we were able to get people out of there and, and, and avoid the areas. So the road damage I saw was uh, extensive, like on Indian Canyon Road, uh, the bridge uh, just north of Highway 111 was completely damaged up by Whitewater. One thing that doesn't get discussed a lot, the train tracks. Uh, there yeah. are dozens of trains all blocked and stopped. The train tracks are undercut, uh, meaning the the mud scoured out from the water and the train tracks are also covered in mud. So it's not just roadways, it's two major train rail lines that are at a complete standstill out in that area. How are the people doing there? What is the mood of the city? How, how are people doing? Yeah, so I talked to um, uh, a lot of police officers, uh, SoCal Edison, and a lot of construction workers, contract workers that are going out to, the, to do emergency repairs. I even went by a gas station that was just completely inundated with mud. So imagine pulling up uh, to get gas and you have um, six inches of mud. I think, you know, people are dealing with best they can. Uh, the, the highway, the interstate was a standstill, four lanes with semis. No one was mad at me. So I think people understand uh, that it's an unusual situation. Caltrans is out there with signs that say emergency closures. So I think everyone's dealing the best they can. Um, because it's, you just can't get through some areas. Alex Hardy with the National Weather Service for us from hard hit Cathedral City. Stay safe out there, Alex. We appreciate your time, sir. Thanks for getting the message out. Uh, take care. 100% you, you do the same. Well, Southern California isn't the only place hit hard by tropical storm Hillary. This is video from Las Vegas. Yes, you're seeing floodwaters literally gushing into the parking structure at the Link Hotel on, t on, on the Strip. That's right there on the Strip. A flash flood warning for Vegas ended about half an hour ago. Parts of the city got more than an inch of rain and people are still, still trapped in some of the mountain communities to the west. Las Vegas is expected to get monsoon thunderstorms later this week.